Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel and I'm here today to talk to you about the Wolves last pre-season friendly against Leicester City which they won 1-0 but that doesn't really cover it because it was a fantastic performance from the majority of the players I think the new players who've come in are going to take us to another level altogether Jota, sorry somebody corrected me in the comments the other day it's Jota, uh, Neves, Bolly. Barry Douglas all seem to be really, really top quality signings. Barry Douglas, in fact, as left wing back, really, really impressed me. Some of the space that he created out wide, if he could just improve his ball into the box. But to be honest, I don't think his ball into the box was that bad. I just think because we're lacking a real out and out striker, his balls went a little bit awry, uh, which hopefully we will do something about in the next couple of weeks and be able to put some away some of those chances. In general, I was very impressed with how high up the pitch we were playing and how high we were pressing Leicester. Leicester, I don't think we're particularly good. We managed to harry them and when we had possession, we were moving the ball quickly and when they had possession, they weren't able to do that. So if we can do that to a team like Leicester, who, although, you know, they're not the champions, they're not a top team in the Premier League, but they're certainly comfortable middle middle of the table on average over the last three seasons in the Premier League, and that's a great result, and hopefully we can build on this performance now and take it into Middlesbrough. So the second half performance today was a little bit slower, I felt, a little bit disjointed with a lot of subs, but there was a couple of players who played the whole game, uh, John Ruddy, Willie Bolly, Connor Cody, and Matt Doherty. Everybody else was changed. The midfield slowed down a little bit with Jack Price and Dave Edwards in there rather than Neves and Jota. Jota. The goal itself was a good finish, an excellent finish from Cavaliero, in fact. Came from um, a Leicester breakaway, which they had the ball in the left end wing with Mark Brighton, who tried to swing it in but ended up clearing it straight to Jota, who then broke away, gave it to Cavaliero about 20 yards out from goal, curled it really, really carefully into the top corner and it was a very very good finish so yeah lots to be positive about i've never come away from a pre-season friendly feeling like this excited about it some people have got carried away over the last couple of hours since the match has finished saying that it's the best performance they've ever seen at molyneux it was a very good performance against a strong team let's not forget that leicester got to the quarterfinals of the champions league last year they've got some good players in there as well i don't think they performed particularly well today riyad mahrez Considering there was a bid yesterday from Roma for £27 million, he's not worth that at all. Whether his head has been turned, but he didn't look particularly good. Vardy missed an absolute glaring miss in the first half. He took it round Ruddy and then passed it straight onto the line where Cody managed to get back and to clear it. He didn't look at the races at all. Drink water, I don't think it looked particularly amazing. Maguire, uh, the defender put in a, a wild tackle in the second half against Jota. Got a yellow card and in a friendly. If you get a yellow card, that means it is a very, very bad tackle. Lots of positives for Wolves. Leicester, I know they played two games in two days, but they had two separate 11s. They made one substitution, that was because of an injury. So for them, I think they've got a lot of work to do in the next week or so before the season starts. They didn't look at it at all today. Whether that's because of a lack of fitness or what, I don't know. But Wolves can come away from this feeling very positive. And I think if we can train well, Make sure that Neves is completely fit, which he was today. He didn't look any signs of injury there. Jota as well, of course, coming from Portugal, slightly behind in terms of his fitness because of pre-season being a different day. I think we can be very, very excited about this season and let's get behind the boys and let's stay behind the boys because it's a big change. We're playing, it's basically a new first eleven. It's not like last season when we bought in these bit part players who sort of came in and did a bit and then just disappeared. We've got some top, top players here. And we need to be patient with the football that we play because I can imagine we'll be 1-0 down against Burton or against somebody at, down the bottom of the table and we'll be knocking the ball around and the South Bank will start to catcall and boo and stuff. We have to be patient. These boys are very, very good footballers. Nuno is a very good manager. We've got something special starting here and we need to stay behind it and be patient. Well, I'm going to make a prediction video later on in the week. I'm also going to do a preview for the Middlesbrough game. I'm also going to do a preview or a predictions video for the Premier League as well this week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. Great to be back at Molyneux today. Really enjoyed the new screens. Couldn't tell much of a difference with the PA announcements. There were some rumours that, that it was going to be a new PA announcer, but 
he's still the same. Really, really looking forward now to the season. It's going to be some great games, I think, and it's some great results. If you went to the match today, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. If you want to get in touch with any stories or interesting things that have happened to you related to the Wolves, then please email us. The link is in the description down below. Please check out the links for the fantasy football, the blood donation, and the bone marrow donation as well. And I'll see you next time.